Consider supporting Dan and the Firemen on Patreon for just $1 a month. More information in the link below. What is up everybody? Dan Dan the Fireman here. I have my phone running, so let's go ahead and pop it on the screen. As you can see, I have the code red up here. Now I am also I'm writing, so obviously I'm not gonna be checking any codes. I already checked some codes, there's nothing showing up. If you want to see how I installed this, go ahead and check out this video. It's links in the description, and everything. And uh oh, Spotify has stopped. I've been having trouble with Spotify, I'm gonna have to <laughs> uninstall that. But let's go ahead and do some live data display. Now I have it vertically in portrait mode. That way it's a little bit easier when I'm showing it to you guys on the screen right now because I have this on widescreen and then I have this all crooked and on widescreen. Let's go ahead and fix you up. There we go, I think that's better. So then I can have this on the left. Now I usually run this like this when I'm doing auto-tune on the FP3, but I have the code red right here. I think it's saved. Before I jumped on the bike, I Dang it, this thing's all screwed up. I think it uh, saved what I wanted. So it should say the RPMs in the center, miles per hour, torque, and I forgot the other one, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. So live data display. Now this says that, you know, if you're riding and you have your phone in here, it could be a distraction. Please do not read it and do not watch it the whole time. Treat it like it's a Speedo. Glance every once in a while, it's good to have. Um, so just like, treat it just like that. And if you wanna know how I'm having it on here, this is a RAM mount. I will have. I had the links in the description for that one. Um, it's a whole RAM mount system. All right, so I got, uh, I think it's oil temperature down there on the left, and I got torque, miles per hour up on the top left, and then I have the throttle response, which is how much you actually are pulling on the throttle. And obviously, I have the RPMs in the center. Now, you can change that up. Now, before I go on the, or after I go on this turn, I wanna show you how you can do that real quick, and it's simple. So, if you have uh, different things you wanna keep an eye on, and you have your phone right there, okay? Before you take off, set these things up because you have multiple settings. You have multiple things, just like the FP3, but this is in a smaller uh, form factor package and it's cheaper. It's $99 versus the FP3, which is well over, I, I forgot how much I paid, but it was like two, three times, maybe even four times as much. So if you want to just get this, the sensor data, in case maybe your speedometer is messed up or you just want to have more like the RPMs and stuff, this, this is a great option to do that. It's super small and it'll fit on your bike. So I am going 43 miles an hour. Uh, engine, or the uh, oil temperature is 120 and all that stuff. I got nine torque, foot pounds of torque. And right now zero throttle response because I have nothing on here. Is it gonna do it? No, it's not gonna do anything because I'm in neutral. So that's the RPMs. Now what I was saying is that before you take off, you can actually set up different ones. So this, is, this could be another saved setting that I can have. It has a spark plug miles per hour and all that stuff. The main one is spark plug, main one is spark plug. So you can actually change it all. I changed it beforehand. And how to do that, let's go ahead and go over here. Let's just click it. And you have a wheel system, so you can change it to whatever you want it to be. So let's go ahead and put it on miles per hour. Click, simple. So at a stoplight, you could do that. And for all the ones on the, on the corners, the top left, top right, top, bottom right, bottom left, you could do the same exact thing. So I am focusing on the road, I just click it. And I'm not even gonna mess with this because I'm watching the road, but you see how you can change it too. It's just like that. And I'm just gonna go, oh, attempting to connect the, reconnect the Bluetooth. Okay, let's see. Uh, hey, that's, that's good to see. That's good to see. So let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. I'm gonna have to edit out this part. That was really weird. So my Spotify quit. Maybe it's my phone that's causing some problems. So I clicked the exit button so because it, it kept trying to reconnect. And now we're back. So it's, it's less than like two minutes that I cut out. So anyways, we are back. 
Um, so like I said, you could switch it over, do everything. So here's the miles per hour now, so I can have a Speedo next to my Speedo. And if you don't have a tachometer and you really want one, boom, there you go. So it's a simple, quick, you know, you can click this, change what you want. You know, that. okay, I want that, cool, there it is, boom, I have it. So I really like that system. Um, you can run it in landscape mode, you can run it in portrait mode like I'm running right now, but man, there's so much stuff here that is really neat to be able to uh, to maneuver and figure out. But you have four settings, it looks like, yeah, 40, four settings you can set beforehand, and it looks like it saves it. Um, I'm gonna double check, I'm gonna turn the bike off and then start it back on and see if it saves this setting. So this is the RPM, miles per hour, throttle response, torque, and then what is it, spark plug? Yeah, it's spark plug. Let's go ahead and move it to, let's do battery. Okay, so you can even double check your battery and stuff. I think that's really cool. What's the, what's that button? Oh, so you can actually change it to metric, imperial, or lock the screen. So let's go ahead and change it to imperial, or uh, metrics. I know some of you guys are metric peoples. And it switch it to metric. So that's cool. So it's not foot pounds anymore. I think that's Newtons. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in America. We have Imperial here. There we go, switched it to foot pounds. That's really cool, that's really neat that you can do that. And let's see, what, what is it, the home button? So it takes you straight to home, live sensor, data, but let's go to the facts. I'm in a stoplight, so there's nothing here. What does 99 cent upgrade get me? Oh, it even tells you everything. The advantage of buying the hardware. Um, do you plug in the hardware, the two different code read devices available, which one do I need? So they have different kinds, so if you have a Sportster, it's gonna be a little bit different than a Dyna, and then uh, the other Harleys, the different pins and everything. So double check, make sure you have the right code read, or code red, I'm sorry, code red for the right bike. All right, let's go back to live data display. Dis display. Once again, it's saying, you know, do not read it, I am focusing on the road, and dunk, right there, and it should, pop up, boom, right there. So there's my RPM, the throttle response up on the top right is eight, nine percent. And that right there is kind of big when it comes to auto tuning your bike with the FB3. That's something that you want to do and kind of focus on. But that is a whole different video that actually made a bunch of different auto tune videos. So that is basically you, you where your this position is. See how it's moving up? So it went from, it's zero right now to, it jumped all the way to 55. There we go. See what I mean? So that's about 35%, 55% of me pulling the, the throttle. So these are a bunch of cool little things to, to mess with. And I did the same thing with the FP3 where I showed you the sensor data. And, and I kind of went a little more in depth when it came to actually uh, playing with it because I wasn't riding at the time. And uh, it's, it's the same thing. It's the same sensor data. You still get the same stuff, same system, but it's in a smaller package and it doesn't cost I think it I think the FP3 costs like 300 something $400 and this is only $99 so you still if you just want the sensor data this is what you should get if you're gonna flash your bike you're gonna tune your bike to you know the right fuel mixture and all that stuff and because you got you know the Vance and Heinz exhaust or you got the uh, naked air intake like I have you're gonna want to uh, flash your bike so you, you can do that but then you're still gonna get this stuff with the FP3 but this right here is the code red um, but the one thing that I did notice is a little bit different and I will save it for uh, the review itself is that you get a ton of trouble codes and you can get you know a ton of different reads out, readouts and I really like that they have videos so you can double check that. Now you can still get access to the video if you just get the app. So if you're running into that problem um, and you know you have that problem, you can watch the video and it'll tell you how to fix it. So I think that's really cool. But yes, yeah, so there's a bunch of different uh, frequently asked questions. Um, definitely download the app, it's free. Um, you can download the app and then pay the 99 cent part to give you a little bit more information. So there is a paid upgraded version for just 99 cents. But if you get the code red, you're gonna get it anyways. So if you're gonna get code red, might as well just, you don't, don't pay for the upgraded version, just get the code red and call it a day. So you get the whole live data. And I like how it gives you a warning every single time you click that. That's good to know. But look at that. That's so cool. Now I have a tachometer and I have a Speedo. If you want to know more about that, please follow, like, subscribe, comment. Um, I will be doing a full review and I'll be messing around with this system a little bit longer and a little bit more before I actually, you know, give the full review. Um, but definitely check me out and check the Discord out and check Vance and Hines out. And hope you guys have a great day, to be honest. Have a great day.
it's freaking hot out. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Week, weekend, I don't even know when this is going up. All right, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>